today I'm going to show how to publish a website, an Orchard website, from uh, your local dev box onto a hosted server using WebMatrix. What I have here is a website running Orchard. Start this. Right, so it has a blog, it has uh, some reviews some book reviews. Uh, it integrates a number of modules. And it's a, it's a real website with actual contents. So we can switch back to WebMatrix. And as you can see, it's using a SQL Express local database. But, uh, our child is using a settings.txt file for each of the tenants uh, instead of declaring its databases uh, in webconfig. And we need to explain to WebMatrix where to find the database if it's going to publish it. So that's unfortunate, but uh, necessary. So here I'm adding a connection to the database that I'm calling our child using my local SQL Express server. The database itself is named Orchard, and very importantly, I have to click Add to Web Config because this uh, will enable WebMatrix to know where to find the database. So here it is. We can declare it, we can look at the tables, see that our data is there. And what this did was to add uh, an entry, a connection string, uh, into, web, into Web Config. So we scroll down to the end of webconfig and we see this connection string. This is not going to affect our chart at runtime. Our chart won't even look at that connection string, so that doesn't change anything as far as our chart is concerned. As you can see, if I refresh this, but uh, WebMatrix will know where to find the database to publish. All right, so about where that is, uh, we have this uh, page on iis.net slash preview offers that uh, shows three new uh, partners uh, offering some um, uh, cloud hosting, which means that these offers can be um, scaled out um, as necessary. So I'm going to pick the third one, rather arbitrarily, and sign up for it. So I can register, give my email, and the password, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or something. Yeah, don't do this at home. Register, and after a few seconds, my account is created. So now I can create a new site. I have a choice between adding from the gallery or adding from a blank site. I'm going to add from a blank site because I want a blank target to which to publish. Let's call this BDY, and very importantly, choose a SQL Server database because we want a target to which we want to publish. So the database here already exists. Yeah, that's uh, when I um, uh, when I prepared this demo. So I, have to, I, I didn't delete the database. Um, so I call it Bertrand instead. That should be almost equivalent. It will take a few seconds to actually create the site and the database. All right. So our site is created. And here, on the bottom of the screen, we have some publication information about that website. And we have that very uh, useful download button that enables me to download um, a little file that uh, contains the, that publication information. And that is a format that WebMatrix understands. So I can go back to WebMatrix, go to uh, Publish Settings, and Import Publish Settings, and I can browse for this file, this one. And here it is. I have all my publication information, including the password, already filled out for me, and including the connection string for the target uh, database. I can validate that connection to check that all the parameters are all right and working. And after a few seconds, 
there it is. It connected successfully. So we can save that information. And we have one more little thing to do here, which is that uh, because our child using, uses its own settings.txt file to point to the database for each tenant, uh, we need to um, change that and replace it with the connection information that we will find on our hoster's website. So here is my connection string that I can copy and paste into a matrix into the settings.txt file. There. You can save that so that when I publish that uh, site uh, on the target, uh, it has the right connection string and connects to the right database. All right, so I want to publish everything here, including the database. Continue. And here, the publication protocol is not FTP. It's a, well, we could use FTP, but here we're using the much faster protocol that WebMatrix uh, introduced. Well, actually, it's MSD deployed. And as you see, this is actually very fast, especially when you know that our child is not uh, exactly a small application. It's a few megabytes of uh, contents that is getting published right now. So as you can see on the bottom of the screen, the files are getting published. And this is, this is it. It's done, including the database, which was pretty fast. So now I can go uh, back to the Hosterios uh, admin panel. Go to my site, look at my website, and I can use that URL here to uh, browse to the actual mm -hmm. site. Yeah. There you have it. Website is here. And it's the exact same website that you, we had uh, locally on the dev box, except that now it's uh, public and has all the information that we had on the original site. Thank <laughs> you. 